This is the activity sheet for advanced creative sewing uh, sample stitch functions of the Baby Lock Rachel. Uh, the first one we're going to look at here is this section it has numbers 1, 2, and 3. Uh, for that we're going to use stitch 1, the J foot, and a stitch length will be indicated in each square. All I want to show you how to get started with that is that for this particular one, and my machine is already threaded, I want you to use a dark color thread. Probably red is what you'll have available in the classroom. For this one, you'll want to turn the hand wheel or drop your needle to where the needle is going to go directly in the line. So make sure if you're doing stitch one, which is a 2.5 stitch length, that you're going to line your needle up right with the line that's already drawn in there and that it's the line for number one. Lower your needle, lower your presser foot. For this activity, you do not need to back stitch. You would just stitch all the way forward to the end of the line. And for this particular set of stitches, we're using the J foot. I knew to use the J foot because it tells me on the screen on the computer, above the one stitch, it has the letter J that's telling you what foot to use. So that is how you're going to complete numbers, uh, let's see here, one, two, and three. Another part of this is neatness, so we want to make sure that we are trimming the threads. I'm not sure if you can see that in the camera, but I'm just trimming up the threads from the back and from the front as close as I can get to the paper, and it will end up just being nice and clean with, with the ends trimmed up to the best of your ability, okay? So next we're gonna move on. You do stitch two, stitch three, and just do whatever stitch length was indicated on the line.